cleaned out. Vernon and Krista already took everything we need. What could there be to miss? Nothing in here, I guess. Must have been from when that woman stabbed the doctor. This is all very rivetingly. Why am I staying? This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered Why can me to I keep watch records of all medical examinations and consultations. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm gonna give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure! I want my baby! I can't do this! I can't do this! Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow. Or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. Not much to go off. Okay, well, whatever. Leave. I don't like the whole being alone. I just, I just know. Logan. Logan, hello. This, this is important. A videotape? Huh. Look, going back. Going back, going back, going back. Super secret knowledge. Gonna see what's up. Do, 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 do. Number three. Okay, so that that's why we're we stayed behind. What? <gasps> Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, hmm. that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Well, shit. Now we're done. Most interesting. So she has a sister somewhere in the city. Probably who she went and saw. She's going to want to take her with. Jesus Christ! Scared the shit out of me. Saw it. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. I'm just kidding. Here you go. Magical pants. What's that? Nothing. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? 
I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. Huh. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret. Kept her safe for as long as I could. But in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked. How anything was better than becoming one of them. But I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late. Before they came and took my sister away. This is all I have left of her. I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. I understand. She's pretty. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Oh, what is going on there? Um, oh, jeez, oh, Jeff! Oh. Bear. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Oh my god. Uh, ben? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh no. Ben. Oh, shit! Oh my god, Ben. Holy crap, Molly's awesome. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Oh, come on. Thanks. I did? What did I do? It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Holy Thanks. crap, Clementine. Yeah, girl. Represent. What the fuck is going on? They're coming. Oh, shit. That ought to hold them. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! This is my fault, all my fault. What the hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. What do you mean this is all your fault? Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. Ben, we don't have time for this now. I'm sorry, Lee. I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Know what? It's been me all along, putting all of us in danger. Katja and Duck. It was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Kitty man! I agree with you. You should kick his ass. But now's not the time. We gotta focus on getting out of here. You little pisshead! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dead! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, listen to me. You can whoop his skinny little ass later. But right now, we gotta go! Nice group you got here. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave him. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well. But all I want to do is get back to Omid, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. 
We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? No! No! Silence. What about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? <laughs> yes! Die, you bitch! Yeah! Yeah! Woo! This is awesome. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! So happy. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's got to be a way out down here. <laughs> Fuck! It's not going to hold. Back upstairs! Lee, look! Shooting in. Oh, S, S. Ah, zombie. Ah, zombie. Ah, also zombie. You too. No discrimination. Oh no. Uh, what? What? Pull leg? Oh. oh, right. Zombies are a thing. Oh, I'm an idiot. Select your leg to free it. Look up to fight off walkers. Thanks. Some of that was clam. Nope. Waggity splat. Woo! That's this is Sparta bitches. The uh, going down. find a way down from there you didn't come into town from the railroad did you yeah why never mind i can see the sewer where we came in from here i think we can do this well what are we waiting for go go hmm if i'd brought clementine she didn't really stop then from doing come on let's go i'm thinking that only affects whether or not we change the vote on Ben. Ha! Vernon, you son of a bitch! Cody! Who is this? It's not Vernon, it's that 